Please like and subscribe for more tutorial for beginners. New videos every day. So in this lesson, I will show you how to set up different variants for a product. So at times it happens something like that. Suppose you are buying a toy and the toy has basically two colors and red and white. And you need to choose that color for your customer so you need to always give the options for your customers to choose so in short I will be showing all the ways a customer may choose their variants so first of all I would like to just duplicate this because I don't want to write these things again and again so let me just say uh, detangler brush because I will be showing a detangler brush for the moment and I'm duplicating that so I have duplicated this now well I have duplicated only the writings so now in the media part I will just give up to our images for the detangler brushes so when we are going down sorry that's So here we have two of our brushes which is this one and this one so I'm just gonna select these both to upload although I'm keeping the price same let's say uh, the brush is $20 uh, I'm comparing it and I'm selling it for $15 and the price of the brush is just $3 so here we have discussed all this before so I'm not going through these things again and again so now in the variant option I need to just choose that yes this product has multiple options and here you it will be said that what are the options I say that there are options like size color material style title so I'm just selecting color and there are two options suppose uh, black and like another one is blue so I have selected my options for black and blue so here you can see that two of our variants are created one for black and another for blue so you can always uh, choose their price um, I'm, and you can always give their quantity but I since I have not shown about quantity I'm just keeping it null so going down okay so let's save this for the time being and let's just go downwards and you can see after I saved it shows the two image button so you can precisely set your images for your brushes so for instance uh, I'm choosing for the black one so I'm selecting the black brush and it's done and now I'm selecting the blue one I'm selecting the blue brush and it's done so you can add more variant like if you want you can add uh, something for the material and all for that's totally your wish but I've shown you one example with colors and you can exp do and explore these things and play around um, that's up to your choice so everything I'm just keeping same so I'm just changing the product type to comb uh, or so just say brush and then the vendor is me and I'm just keeping the collections uh, blank and let's say uh, the tags are here and beauty etc so I've created this and you should always make your product active or else you will see that it's not visible in your website so I'm just saving this for the moment And I'm just clicking on this preview button to see in your, our website that how this looks like. 
So you can see that we have our detangler brush here right now and another thing is that you can now choose your colors so let's see if you just choose your blue color you just chose your blue color and the blue image pops up this is the beauty of Shopify and this is the beauty of choosing of different variant among your products so you can have four or five variants you can literally choose the button and automatically the product will pop up using an animation isn't that so much cool so there are lots and lots of options available so here you can just give the details the way and the layout the way you want so let me just show you one thing now if you visit your catalog as I said earlier you will have all of your products so you can see that your products are here showing up so now let's visit our home page So you know how our homepage is like that and we haven't set this part yet. I've just only come to visit. So going back to our store. Now let's go to our theme section again. And change some of our settings. So I'm just going to customize button. And you can always change your pages settings by just clicking on this products on the button above here and just clicking on this products button and the, it's your default product page which I want to customize so it's like this now well I want to keep all the writings at the right so I'll just go downwards and after the header it says product pages and also I will go at one option at a time so that uh, you know each and everything so here is the product page option so here are the product tabs well one thing is that I don't want to make the customer see the product tab so I'm just cutting this out which means that here the type was written which will be gone so, so similarly I also don't want the tags to be shown and also I don't want the product ca ca collections to be shown also so I've unchecked this button and you can see everything here is gone and if you go downwards here are the media options of enabling uh, image zoom and enabling video zoom so these are the way I wanted so moving backwards its product form of picker it's a drop down button so I would like to give a drop down button and here if you just un just un close untick this option the product description will be gone but I want the product description and I want it in there so here is a product description position button so here it says in the separate section but I want this to be under the add to cart section so I've just added this under the car add to cart section and this is at the top right and the descriptive style is bottom and the text element is in the center as well so you can see that our writings are at under the under the add to cart button and you can see how it moves through our website so in this video you learned about variant and you also learned about how to make some changes in your pages product pages form so I'll see you guys on the next lesson